Peace be with you. This weekend we do uh, celebrate Palm Sunday, so I would like to help uh, with a home liturgy for those who uh, cannot physically gather with uh, others at church. So this will be a Palm Sunday remembrance uh, during this pandemic time. Uh, celebrating is rejoicing in God's goodness. So uh, a home liturgy should be cheerful and simple. It should remind everyone that the Christ is present with you in your house. So this is a Palm Sunday home liturgy. So if you have a garden and can get some greenery, then give a peace to each person in lockdown with you. If you cannot cut some greenery but have a potted plant, place that on the table. It will remind you and everyone else what strange year we are in. And sit down around the table you are normally at four meals. If you don't have such a common table, then sit around where you normally uh, sit. And please join me and uh, in, uh, in spirit, in your mind, uh, say the prayers with me. Uh, so this Sunday we gather as individual households or alone in our homes. Uh, in all uh, uh, circumstances, God is with us. Uh, the Christ is among us. Uh, and the church is at prayer. So have a piece of greenery in your hand. Sisters and brothers, we have been observing Lent. We unite ourselves now uh, to the whole church and pray that we may enter this holiest of weeks uh, with reverence and hope. God of all creation, these branches recall for us the joy of that day when Jesus, fulfilling the scriptures, made his entry uh, into Jerusalem. Bless this greenery we hold in our hands that it may go with us throughout the coming year. Hosanna! Blessings on the King of Israel who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And now we have the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The next day a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessings on the King of Israel who comes in the name of the Lord. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat upon it as it is written, Fear not daughter of Zion, behold your king is coming, sitting on a donkey colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written of him and had been done to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And now spend a minute or so in silence thinking about the gospel. Thank God. Then talk together about what Jesus will do in Jerusalem in the coming days. What will happen on Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. Remind one another that Jesus is present in this domestic liturgy. For where two or three have gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So then we can have now the prayer of the faithful. We pray for all those infected by the virus around the world, for those who care for them for health specialists and authorities who are combating the spread of infection, and for all who at this time are feeling anxious. 
Lord, hear us. For all believers that we take up the cross each day and remain faithful to the Lord, Lord, hear us. For wealthy nations and people that they have compassion and concern for the poor and marginalized, Lord, hear us. Make your own prayers for those who are sick or in need, and finish each prayer with, Lord, hear us. Then we can have the concluding prayers. We pray for those who have died, that they may rest in the loving presence of the Lord. Lord, hear us. And now let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May God bless us and keep us safe. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Father Laszlo.